Saturday, April 6, 2013. This is Mercedes Diesel Guy, and this is my 1995 Subaru Legacy. Um, this is a 95 Outback, and uh, it's the first year Outback, which is really a little more than a uh, Legacy L with uh, you know the uh, body kit on it. But one thing that sets this apart from the uh, previous 95 Legacy I had are these fog lights you see here in the uh, lower part of the bumper. When I bought the car, they weren't working. Um, I put a new bulb in the driver's side one, and it worked for at least a few minutes. But the uh, passenger side one is... You can see it's all dirty. That's not just dirt, it's all corroded inside there. So I'm actually going to be replacing these today. And... Um, since these were these particular fog lights were one year only on the Outback, they're a little harder to come by. Uh, I've seen other fog lights. Uh, I think Subaru may have used these for a couple other model years on uh, higher trim level Legacies, but uh, uh, they're just a little more hard to find, and the used ones I'm finding are just too expensive. So I actually opted to go with some aftermarket fog lights. I'm going to be installing these. Um, they were cheap enough. Uh, I don't really need anything spectacular. I uh, don't even really feel I need much of anything at all, but uh, would be would be nice to have fog light function. Now, these here install on brackets, and I'm hoping they will uh, fit the space I have. So, even though it says off-road, I'm not too worried about that. Um, I will uh, show you now how to take the old fog lights out. Now the fog lights are mounted to the car with these brackets you see right here, which uh, if I remember correctly, these are 10 millimeter bolts. So I'm going to uh, take these out right now and remove the fog light. And once you have these bolts out, the fog light will just pull right out of the bumper. So give me a moment to do that. And then last but not least, you disconnect this electrical connector right here and you have the fog light out of the car. Next I'm just gonna take one of these new fog lights and make sure it will fit the hole in the bumper because I really don't want to alter this too much. And it looks like those will fit in there rather nicely. Um, so next I'm going to proceed with uh, seeing if I can make this work electrically. Now in order to make this a little easier, you can see there's kind of um, a universal un universal ends in these wires here. Well, I was at the junkyard earlier today and I clipped these off of uh, some broken Subaru fog lights, uh, one pigtail each, uh, which will match up to the factory wiring I have. So what I want to do is uh, basically sp splice this uh, little pigtail end here onto the new lights, and that way I don't have to hack into the factory wiring on the car. Okay, now I've spliced together the appropriate connectors. Uh, this little pigtail here now has the appropriate uh, uh, terminals on the end of it, and I did uh, them opposite from each other uh, so as not to be confused when, if and when I ever have to uh, take this light back off and uh, put it back on. Um, and you can see I also clipped off the original negative terminal on the new light and uh, crimped on a new terminal. Now, I'm just going to connect this all and make sure it works, and then before I uh, do the permanent install, I'm actually going to you know, tape this off really well and weatherproof it. So I'm going to give this a try right now and we'll see if it works. Okay, uh, everything is uh, hooked up now uh, and loosely, very loosely bolted in place. As luck would have it, the uh, bracket for the new fog lights actually uh, mounted up perfectly to the factory mounting points. So I'm going to turn these on and see if they work. All right, the new fog light is absolutely 100% working. This is fantastic. So I'm going to, um, you know, weatherproof the connections and tighten everything up and install the other fog light on the other side. So, and I just wanted to leave you with one quick parting shot of the new fog lights on and working. And you can see they're right there in the factory recesses. And although they are not factory fog lights, uh, I'm actually really pleased with the look. Uh, considering the uh, small amount of money I spent to get this working again. So, this is Mercedes Diesel Guy, and thanks for watching.